Hey, how's it going? This is Luke Stokes. It's uh, Tuesday, March 26th, and I wanted to demonstrate using the Anchor Wallet and the brand new Fio Blocks.io. I actually was doing some UAT testing today and wanted to play around with it, and I'm just really excited about how well it works. So I wanted to demonstrate it. So right here we have this account. It's a three of seven multi-sig example. So if you had three of these people sign a multi-sig message, you could go ahead and transfer funds. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and turn on MSIG mode. So that means anything I do right now is going to be converted into a multi-sig. Uh, let's say I want to transfer tokens to this public address. I transfer 50 FIO. I'm going to click transfer and then it moves us into this MSIG mode. So now it's kind of saying, hey, we're going to go ahead and generate this MSIG. So the actor we're going to put in here is this guy using active. And you can see it automatically pulled in the requested approvals, which is super cool. Uh, one thing you have to do is go ahead and clear that out, or so it'll error. And you want to make sure you have the right actor here as well, because we want this to be the actor that is sending the tokens to this address. And there's nine decimal points in FIO, so that's 50 FIO. So we've got this all set, and we say OK, good to go. And this also, too, kind of defaults out to 50 minutes from now. Uh, you can adjust that a little bit, but if it's too far out, uh, whatever node you're trying to send it to may actually fail. So we'll go ahead and propose. This jumps right into Anchor and says, okay, hey, I'm going to go ahead and propose this. This is the details of what's requested. This is the details of what's going to happen. Pretty cool. So we say, okay, we'll go ahead and sign that. And we see here now we have a proposal. So we can check that proposal here and it says, okay, we're going to transfer 50 tokens from here to here. And these are the different uh, approvals that are needed. So I go ahead and click. Actually, oh, I always make that mistake. Turn off MSIG mode. There we go. Click back here. So now that MSIG mode is on or, or off, as an individual actor, I can go in here and just approve it. So this says, OK, here's the detail of the proposer. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. And that comes through and is marked now as approved. Now I need two more to, in order to sign this. So let's go ahead and log in as somebody else. We'll approve it. And we'll log in as someone else as well. Let's see this guy here. And approve. And now that we have these approvals, because the permissions on this was a 307, we have enough to execute it. And we should be able to keep track of this account here and see that it transferred out 50 tokens. Let's go ahead and execute it. And again, it doesn't matter who executes it. Once it has the appropriate signatures, it should execute just fine. So this says, OK. Here's the transaction, which basically says, hey, this got executed, uh, and we're all good. Now if we come in here, there it is. There's our 50 transfer. So that worked just as expected. Pretty cool little example of using Blocks.io to both create a multi-sig transaction in FIO and approve it, approve the multi-sig. Pretty exciting stuff. Hope you appreciate that. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later.